everyone this is Trevor from Mobex Digital and in this video I'm going to be showing you our WordPress chatbot plugin solution that allows you to have a chatbot on your site. Chatbots are really good to drive sales and customer engagement or any content that you want to funnel a customer through um, to get better leads and better engagement overall. So to show you our chatbot on our website, if you look in the bottom right hand corner here, we've got the icon that allows any visitor to um, start talking to a chatbot. Now the great thing is, is chatbots are available 24 seven um, and with our solution, it records the transcript of the user, sends it through to your email so you can pick it up when you are online. So our chatbot is called Monica. Here's a little avatar of, uh, of Monica here. It can be any image you wish. And we've got the opening dialogues here. Welcome to Mobex Digital. I'm Monica and I'm here to help you. And how can I help you today? So I'm gonna switch now to our dashboard, the admin interface to WordPress. And down the left-hand side, once the plugin has been installed, you've got this WP chatbot. Now you can have multiple chatbots for all sorts of different reasons, different sales funnels, different pages uh, on your site. If you've got multi-site um, installations of WordPress, you can use them across that as well. Um, we've just got the one chatbot installed on our site. That's uh, Talk to Monica. So I'm gonna go straight into that and edit. And here I can show you the different sections of the setup of the, of the bot. So the public name is, uh, is Monica. Um, that can be changed here. You can change her avatar as well here by selecting uh, a file. You can also uh, set up a, a bit of a biography about the bot as well, um, which we, we haven't set up, um, but that allows you to uh, provide a bit more information and make it more human-like um, to your users. Now, um, first of all, we, we hit the uh, bot's introduction. So the welcome to Mobex Digital. I'm Monica and I'm here to help you. If I switch back to Monica on our site, that's the first dialogue here. So you can set images um, in here as well as, um, as well as text. And it just gives you a good introduction to how the bot can help out. Um, this next part of the dialogue is actually going straight into our flow. So here is our flow or the discussion of your bot. So sometimes it's called a flow, sometimes it's called a, uh, a waterfall. Uh, there's many different kind of um, kind of names out there depending on different platforms sometimes. This is uh, the flow of your conversation with your end users. So the one I'm gonna show you today is just one of the um, two flows that can be taken via our chat bot. Um, you can either contact us or find out more about our services. So let's start off with how can I help you today so if I just switch back to the um, chat bot you'll see where it's asked that as part of the dialogue and also it's given me these two options at the bottom contact me or tell me more about your services so if I click on contact me it then asks me how would you like to be contacted so I'm gonna say call me and then it's asking me to input my name. So this is where we can listen for user input. So I'm gonna put Trevor in here. And a telephone number. So it's asking me to provide more user input. So I'm gonna just type in a number here. And now it's asking me what, what services are you interested in? So I'm gonna put chatbots. And there we are, we've hit the end of the flow and it's saying thank you uh, for providing your details and we'll be in contact uh, shortly. So if I switch back to the admin interface, I'll show you that flow and how we've how we've got that to, uh, to behave in that way. So first of all, we say, how can we help you today? Within this question, we're asking for two choices. So the first one was contact me. The second one was tell me more about your services. So we've taken the contact me route. You can then base an action on that button being clicked in the chat bot. So we are going to take the user to question number two. So question number two, how would you like to be contacted? And again, we're providing more choices here. Call me or email me. So we've asked to call 
Um, and then we go to question number 12 in our flow, where uh, we're asking, can I take your name? And this is where we're asking for input. So just to give you, um, uh, provide you uh, with the different options that, that you can choose as part of the response that you expect from the user, we can ask for a, a choice to um, other questions. So that's like, for example, call me or tell me more about your products. We can ask for the user's input or you can send the user to an external link. That could be a link within WordPress or it could be uh, an external link to another uh, another site. And we can actually um, open up in different windows, for example. Um, as an addition to the external link, we can then say open it up in another window and then uh, redirect them to another question and keep that conversation going because that's obviously what's keeping the people engaged. So I'm going to remove this one for now. So going back to the flow, we've asked for the input. Um, can I take your name? After they've entered the name, we're going to go to question number five. And then we're asking for phone number. Again, it's asking for their input. Um, and then we go to question number 13. And then it's asking what services they're interested in. Um, and the um, again, it's a user input that we're expecting there. Following this, then we go to question number six. And it says, thanks for providing your details and someone will be uh, in contact shortly. That then allows the user to uh, to start over, they can click on that button at the bottom here, and then we start another dialogue if they wanted to take another route through the chatbot. Now, obviously with the flows you can get really creative. Uh, this is a very simple, very straightforward flow where it, we're expecting um, you know, uh, straight answers, user, user input to all of our questions, but you can go different, different ways. You can create different chatbots, you can have multiple chatbots with different flows. Um, etc. So you can get really creative there. Some additional settings at the bottom here. So um, we can we can trigger a JavaScript code um, based on certain actions here as well. Um, look and fill. We've got additional settings here. Um, we've got quick access. So quick access is related to this button. Um, at the bottom here. So the way we have it set up on our site is on our mobile apps page and home have both got this same icon where you can fire it up and talk to Monica as a chatbot. We can set additional colors here. We can change um, the custom icon. So the icon um, here, which is the, the kind of speech bubble with the three dots, that can be changed to something uh, more custom if you wish. Um, and there's some additional settings as well. Um, where you can you can set uh, you know default links to targets and messages and things like that. So we can we can add and be very flexible in terms of of what you can add there. So as part of uh, the solution, you can set it up so that every transcript with the chatbot is recorded and sent to you via email. So you can see exactly who's been on the site, who's been using the chatbot, and follow up on any leads, um, essentially, that that's providing for you. So it gives you a really good tool uh, to be able to do that. Um, so that's it. Um, it's very simple, straightforward. Um, it's all about designing them flows and getting more uh, sales and user engagement via your site uh, with our WordPress chatbot solution. Thanks for watching.